Affinity Photo can employ hardware acceleration on both Mac and Windows platforms to accelerate various raster operations. I'll show you how to enable and disable this feature on both platforms and give you some examples of how it can be beneficial. First off, on Mac we have Metal Compute Hardware Acceleration. If your graphics card is supported, you may find this feature is already enabled, but I'll show you how to toggle it and give you an example of the difference it makes. On this document, let me add a live motion blur filter. Live filters are typically quite taxing, especially if you start to use several of them in your layer stack. Now, this is currently using software rendering. You can see it's quite slow, and as we use larger kernel values by dragging on the canvas, it slows down significantly. Now, another example is when working with 32-bit compositions, which you will typically do for HDR work, astrophotography, and 3D renders, to name a few examples. Now, adding a simple curves adjustment isn't so bad. So we can just push the tones around, and it's still reasonably fast. But look what happens when we try and add a live clarity filter to bring out some structure. So I'll just bring this out at the top here and then increase the strength. Even with a high spec machine, this starts to become considerably slower. And this is more obvious if I invert that clarity's mask, get the paintbrush tool, set my color to pure white and start to try and paint into areas where I want the effect to be shown. You can see there is a delay in rendering. For this type of image editing, you might typically want to use multiple live filters, like denoise, minimum blur to reduce star brightness, and of course, clarity here. So our document rendering is going to become very slow over time. Let's enable Metal Compute then, and see what difference this brings. So on Mac, I can go to the app title, then preferences, go over to the performance category, and check Enable Metal Compute Acceleration under the Hardware Acceleration option here. Then when I go to close this window, I'll be prompted to restart the app. I'll choose Restart Now, and I don't want to save the changes to those documents, that's fine. So we'll just wait for Affinity Photo to restart. Okay, let me just reopen those two documents and just full screen the app. Now then, if we go into the Preferences menu, because we've now enabled Metal Compute Acceleration, it lists the compatible GPU devices. So here on a MacBook, I have the Intel Integrated Graphics and the Discrete GPU, which is an AMD model. If you have an external GPU or even multiple external GPUs, these will also be used for hardware acceleration if they are supported. So then, if I just close this down, and once again, add a live motion blur, this time, the result is much smoother. And look at this, I can drag on the canvas and use extremely high kernel values with no noticeable slowdown whatsoever. And again, across on my astrophotography document, let me add a curves adjustment, like so, and then I will add that clarity filter, drag it out, increase the strength, and already I can see a huge difference in rendering performance here. So once again, I will invert that clarity mask, get the paintbrush tool, set my color to pure white, and paint in. And as you can see now, there is absolutely no delay whilst painting into the clarity mask. So with hardware acceleration enabled, you will typically find that most filters, adjustment layers, brushwork, and other raster tools will be significantly faster. Now let's move across to Windows, where we have hardware acceleration via OpenCL. As with the Mac version, if your graphics card is supported, you may find this feature is already enabled, 
but I will show you how to check if it's active and which devices it is using. First, let's see a demo again. So here is the document where I add a live motion blur filter. And as I just drag on the canvas, it's not too slow, but again, like with the Mac version, when I start to drag further and use larger kernel values, that's when we really start to see considerable slowdown. And let's take a look at that astrophotography document. So I will just add a curves adjustment, do some more tonal work to this. And then I will add that live clarity filter. Just drag it out on its own at the top of the layer stack and increase the strength. And that didn't seem too bad, but if I now use Control I to invert that mask, get the paintbrush tool, take my hardness down and just set my color to pure white. You can see it's very slow to update when I try and paint into that clarity mask to reveal the effect. So speed wise, it's similar to our experience on Mac. Let's enable OpenCL and see if we can accelerate this. So on Windows, Preferences is found on the Edit menu. And we can go to the Performance category. And like with Mac, we'll just check the Hardware Acceleration option here. So Enable OpenCL Compute Acceleration. Go to close the dialog. It prompts us to restart. We'll choose Yes. And we don't want to save changes to the documents. OK, I'll just reopen those two documents. And before we try out the speed increase, let's go back to the Preferences menu and Performance. And again, like we saw with Mac, it's now listed compatible graphics card devices. So I've got my integrated graphics on the processor here, and then my discrete graphics card. And of course, if you have any external GPUs attached, they will be used as well. So let's close this down, add our live motion blur filter, and there we go, we can see a significant increase in rendering performance there, even as I stretch this right out and start to use large kernel values. And then of course, let's try this out with our astrophotography document. So I will add a curves adjustment quickly. And then on top of this, a live clarity filter. Okay, instantly I can see this is going to be much quicker. So control I to invert that mask, get the paintbrush tool, set my color to white and just paint in. And I can instantly see a huge speed increase there. It's basically now rendering in real time. So there we go. That was a quick video demonstrating how to enable hardware acceleration on both Mac and Windows. Hope you found it useful and thank you for watching.